English. Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I'm here with a review video for Zenith by Sasha Alsberg and Lindsay Cummings. I was sent this by HarperCollins. For exchange of my honest review. If you guys are wondering, this book is releasing January 16th, 2018, so if you're interested after hearing my lovely thoughts on the book, then go check it out yourself. So without further ado, let us get started. I ended up giving this book a 3 out of 5 stars. I was really excited about it because I'd heard such like mixed reviews about it. Some people hate it, some people really enjoy it, so I wanted to see where I fell on the spectrum of it. So this book follows Androma Priscilla, who is better known in the galaxy as the Bloody Baroness. She's running from her past and she finds herself on a starship called the Marauder with a crew of three other strong females. When she is captured by her ex-lover Dex, she's recruited for a mission by the general of her old home. So with the help of her crew and Dex, Andy sets off on this mission in hopes of being set free from her past. I did actually really like this book, although I think that it could have been a lot shorter than the 500 pages that it is and still got in the entire plot line across effectively. I think that it could have been at least 200 pages shorter than it actually is. At times it kind of just felt that the authors were repeating themselves and it just kind of went around in a circle and you were getting the same plot point again and again and again. It also seemed like a certain chapter would start at one point and then randomly jump around to random parts that you were like, where is this coming from? I don't understand why this is included. There were some plot holes and it was kind of confusing at times why certain things were actually included. It made sense by the end of the book, but when I was reading it, I was kind of sitting there like, why is this even relevant? And then it would be a little tiny mention later on. So I think that those parts of the book could have been cut out and it would have still been effective because this took me a heck a long time to read because of how chunky it is. But overall the story was still really entertaining and I did really like it. I think that the short chapters were really great and it was way easier to hold my attention than some other authors who write like 20 page chapters. I can't deal with those. Your girl has an attention span of like a goldfish. So it was really nice having those shorter chapters that I could break my reading up into. I also really liked the multiple point of views, although again I think that it could have been done with less. The six point of views, I think it was six, explored was a little much. It could have been done effectively with only like three or four and it still would have made sense. The cast of characters were actually really interesting to me. I really liked the dynamic between Jilly and Breck, who were two of the Marauders. I also really liked Alfie, who was the AI who joined the Marauders as part of the crew after the general recruits Andy. I think that he was my favorite character out of them all. He was really funny and just the things that he said made me giggle. I didn't really care for Andy that much though, which is kind of not a good thing, I think, because she is the main character. You would hope that I would be able to connect with her, but she was just really contradictory to me like one second she'd be saying how much she hates killing people and how she feels so bad about it and blah 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 but then the next second she'd be talking about how much she likes killing people so it was kind of confusing and a lot of people say that she's kind of like a carbon copy of Selena from the throne of glass which I personally haven't read so like I can't say yes or no to that but that's just what I've heard but just personally she wasn't like a shining star for me like I don't really care for her at all I'm also a little bit iffy about Dex I can't decide if I find him really annoying or really really swoon worthy. It's very confusing in my head. One second I'm like, oh, you're so cute. And then the next second I'm like, you're so goddamn annoying. I want to punch you in the face. So like kind of confused with my feelings. I definitely think that the ending was the best part of the story. It took off very quickly. I wasn't able to call the ending, which is nice because usually I find books very predictable. So it was very nice that I had literally no idea that the thing that happened was going to happen. I think the end of the book really brought everything together and everything from the beginning that they included made a lot more sense once you get to the end of the book because half the time during this thing I was like what is even going on but then once you get to those final chapters it starts to all come together nicely. I think it's going to be really interesting to see where book two goes from the story because it kind of leads you on a huge cliffhanger and you're just kind of sitting there like okay what 
all right we that happened what's next like i kind of want to know so overall i think that it was entertaining i did enjoy the story i think it could have been shorter but still a very fun read i think that the book was really entertaining and a lot of people will enjoy it i think that it was like an average book it wasn't anything like incredible blow your mind but it's still entertaining to read so i would suggest picking it up if you're interested in like sci-fi books because it was super fun hey guys so that was my little review of zenith by sasha alsberg and lindsay cummings thank you so much to harper collins for sending me a copy of the book and let me know down below if any of you have read it or if you're excited to read it and i will see you all in my next video goodbye